there we have it. It was the road to victory. Michael had to go through Simon and Nada, and Addison had to go through Melissa and Connor. So it's our number one seed from qualifying versus the number three seed. And remember, this is going to be a best of five. You have to win three games to take mm -hmm. the match. And what does the winner get, Adam? The winner gets a travel stipend to compete at the main event, the Classic Tetris World Championship in Portland, Oregon, at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, the most amazing Tetris event on planet Earth. You will be there competing in the bracket of 48 against legends, legends from every angle coming at you to destroy you. It's really fun. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll Does that be, event have a date? I'm not... Uh, yes, the PRGE, the Classic Tetris World Championship, is going to be October 19th and 20th. Okay. And if you want to compete, all you have to do is get a badge, come to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, show up on Saturday morning, and try to qualify. That's all you got to do. You don't have to pre-register anything. Just show up, get in line, pay the entry fee, and you're good to go. play some good Tetris. That's all there is to it. All right, everyone, this is your final for the Vancouver Championship. Three, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> mm. They're out of control here. <laughs> they can't handle the excitement, and but they can. They can't handle it, but they're going to enjoy it. I think so. And right off the bat, both players Tetris ready. Avoiding any huge errors or mistakes, but also facing yeah, boom, some difficult situations. Yeah. Addison gets the piece he needs. He's gonna hopefully get his stack in order. Okay. Tetris for Addison and Nescard in a little bit of trouble. Hyper taps one over Ooh. there, but it's not enough. Oh, and he goes down with an early one. Sometimes it's Addison a takes game one. Your steak and potatoes. <laughs> meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes dash yeah, won out yeah. that time, yeah. it's true. So Addison, you are the lower seed for game two. What level would you like? Okay, Addison chooses 15. I like the colors on 15. It gives you a nice calm break to that like. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of, it's like a pastel kind of thing. Yeah. So All right, both players ready? All right, three, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. Game two here, on their way. Both players looking very calm, very collected. Yeah, we got a J Reliancy here, but he gets it. Oh man, oh, look at that. Addison, look at the Tetris for Nest card. Long bar to keep his stack nice. And Tetris for Addison. Pretty standard stuff here so yeah. far. Both players playing well, playing clean, made some smart burns. Neck Tetris neck. for Nest Card. Okay. I'm gonna see a spin here. Ooh. Okay. All right, we got Tetris a ready for Nest Card. Got one and hole in the Addison screen there. We could use a little help. Tetris for Nest Card. Out to a 28,000 point lead and a triple oh. for Addison. But a very necessary yeah, definitely triple. Definitely a necessary triple there. Nest card's ready again and Tetris. 84% Tetris rate. He's coming back with a vengeance. Uh, Addison's nice and clean now. But Addison did uh, get through that first wave of adversity and he's ready to strike. Mm -hmm. And here it comes. Boom. Boom Tetris for Addison. <laughs> Nice, uh, easy burns for Nest Card to open up his Tetris well again, and there it is. Boom, Tetris for Nest Card. Jumps back out to a 39,000 point lead. Yeah, Addison got himself into a, like a triple well situation there. Yeah, another, another little cleanup. Smart burn. This is gonna help out for Addison. All right, we're nice and clear. Boom, touches for Nest Card. Ooh. 
Ooh. That was that was a tough break. And Ness card with the 30,000 point lead and ha and has less lines and has a super clean board. He's currently in control of this match. Uh, but you know, I think Addison's handling handling the adversity really well. He's not letting it phase him and you know, he keeps coming back and getting clean. And here he's yeah. on the verge of being set up for a dirty Tetris. Oh, and he's going for it. Up, oh, gambled a little, yeah. but it paid yeah, off. What he needed. It paid off. And uh, keeps the, keeps within striking distance with a 45,000 point deficit. Typically, that is not going to pay off. You know, you're going to get burned. But you know, sometimes you when, you're be, when you're behind, yeah, and you're already up a game, you know, you can take Just, a you can take a chance. Yeah, I like it. And Nescard's Tetris ready. Boom. Uh -huh. And Nescard has had some favorable RNG. He seems to be getting some very timely long bars. He's still at that 70% Tetris rate, which is just about as good as it gets. Tetris for Addison. Unfortunately, there's a gap there, so that's a triple. But uh, at least he's clean and he's out of danger. And, you know, in striking distance, 42,000 point deficit, not so bad. Let's see if we can get a T-spin in here. Oh, he was going for it. Addison's gonna get out of this. Meanwhile, Ness card, nice and clean. Ooh, it takes a triple. You hate when you have to burn and block your well right when the long yeah. bar comes, but it happens. And that, there's a good one, Tetris for Ness card. And dirty Tetris for Addison, still in striking distance. He's not going away. He's not gonna uh, roll just, over here. He's just going for it here. And burns the triple. That was a smart one. He's playing aggressive, but he didn't want to play that aggressive. And now Addison is Tetris ready with the center well Tetris and boom, boom Tetris for Addison has another one right on the way timely long bar boom simul Tetris that deficit's at about <laughs> thirty six thousand but as we can see Addison has nineteen more lines than Nescard so Nescard has an entire two levels of extra you know material to work with um, so this right. is still uh, Nescard still very much in control of this game. A little bit of a sticky situation though right now, but gets the long bar right there for yeah. the triple. Addison. As Addison transitions to level 16 with two Tetrises right in a row, so oh, he's looking really here. good at the transition. Three Tetrises in a row. Oh, no. Ooh, a little bit of a misplacement there. And sometimes that even sometimes that speed change. Ooh, that would have been a clutch T spin. Nice T spin opportunity, didn't quite time it right. Get it over. Nice. And once again, Addison showing that he is just not going down without a fight. Oh, look at this. Opens up the well and boom! Tetris for Addison. <laughs> Clutch play to take the lead. He still has one full level to rack up some points against Nescard, who was the number one seed in this tournament. Gets another Tetris for 25,000 point lead. But Nescard is also Tetris ready. Well, Addison's about he's three lines away from the room. Level 19 here. Takes the triple. And one line to go before the transition for Addison. Oh, no. He is Tetris ready. If it gives him the long bar, he'll get that one extra bit of score. Let's give it to him. And, oh, it shoves oh. it over for the Tetris. He's got a 42,000 point lead. So Nescard has one and a half levels of 18 play to close that 38,000 point gap. Let's see if he can do it. Cleans it up, nice and clean. And and we have to remember, Nescard does have 19 capability because he's a max out player. But he'd love to close this gap, so let's, we don't you know, right here on 18, if he can. Oh, closes the gap, the hole, well. And he gets the long bar. He's gonna need one more. 10,000, 9,460 point deficit. He's set up for the Tetris. Tetris ready. And boom, boom Tetris, Tetris for Ness card. card. Transitions with a victory. And now. Well done. That was some great, some great Tetris. Some, that's really what we like to see. And. Uh, Give him that heart. Yep, we're all tied up at one game apiece. Things are just getting warmed up here, guys. We got a lot of Tetris left to play.
And um, so game three, that's Ness card's choice. Ness card right. goes for 18 again. He's got a strategy. He's got. He's not. He's sticking to his guns here. So, both players are ready. Let's do a countdown. Three, two, one. Tetris. Tetris. I feel like Nescar's probably read all the Tetris books. He knows all the maneuvers. You know the, the strategy books that are out there. You know, like you read all your poker books. Well, uh, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of adversity for Addison out of the gate while well, Nescard starting off clean. Boom touches for Nescard. And it, it can get away from you pretty fast on 18, but once again, we've seen that Addison is not perturbed by a little bit of adversity. He's not. However, we, have see, we do see that Nescard's out to a three Tetris lead right out of the gate. Addison's cleaning it up. You know. Triple for Addison. And finally clean. Nice. And he's gearing up here for a dirty. Michael with a Tetris. Ooh. Oh, gets the Tetris, but he hung one there on the side. Uh, you know, he can get his way out of this, but it's uh, unfortunate. Jay Reliancy going on. Or that, that'll work. Okay, Tetris for Nest card. Out to nearly a 100,000 point lead. Um, but Addison surviving, and that's the name of the game. The name of the game, first and foremost, is to survive. Give yourself a chance to score points on later levels. A smart burn there by Addison. Uh, just as a drought starting, Nescard gets a Tetris for another Tetris rate of 70%. So he's off to a really strong start. Tetris for Nescard, 130,000 point lead. As we see that burn, uh, oh, Tetris for Addison. Finally gets back on the board. And Tetris for Nest card, but he's got kind of a weird overhang over there. Ooh, and a, got a piece Tetris for Addison, but another little bit of a overhang there. Right, tucks it underneath. And you can shove a few long bars in there. He's back in business. <laughs> oh, heads up plays. Heads up plays by Addison. And it looks like Nescard's going for a dirty Tetris. Getting droughted a little bit. Makes the right choices with that ZS sequence. And we've got a dirty triple for Addison. <laughs> Boom Tetris for Nescard. Both players with 70 lines. So we still have a lot of Tetris to play. We've got about 60 lines left to score on 18 speed. Addison finally down to the bottom. And he's, he's going to have definitely. another center well, another center well set up. He's got to go for it here, you know. Oh. Tetris for Ness card. Slipped in there for Addison. And dealing with a little bit of a drought, but gets that. Oh, and look at this. finally, center well for Addison. <laughs> Good things come to those who wait, but Nescard also got his long bar. So it's still looking at a 178,000 point lead. It is a big lead, folks. <laughs> I will tell you that. Um, and, you know, Nescard is showing no signs of letting up. T trading Tetris is there to keep it at about 180,000 points. Addison's still calm, relaxed. Yeah, he's Tetris ready. Both players yeah. Tetris ready. And simultetris. Simul Jinx. 
We're we're allowed to say simul Tetris, right? Or has that been banned? I think it's allowed. Okay. I'm not sure why it would be banned. <laughs> okay, both players having a little bit of a rough spot. Ooh, Nescar gets a timely long bar right there, but he still needs a little help. Twenty lines away from transition here. As, yeah, we're we're. So. Nineteen speed is coming. Both players not where they'd love to be at a transition. This card's getting the pieces he needs, putting them where they belong. Ooh. Last second decision there by Nescar to, he saw what piece was next and he switched it over. Okay, we got seven lines to the transition for Addison, eight lines for Nescar. Nescar is clean again. And boom, Tetris for Nescar. And Addison just keeps fighting. It's not over yet. Oh, and that, that T piece just wasn't going to get over without the extra tap. But you got to love the fight that Addison showed. Great match, you guys. Yeah. He had a 66 piece drought. Yeah, as we can see, game. guys, take note. That's a drought of 66 pieces that Addison survived. I want to apologize as a commentator for not noticing that when it happened. <laughs> However, uh, that's incredible achievement. I think that may be the record. So we'll go to the record books. I, the longest drought I ever saw in, in uh, CW, CTWC history was by Jeff Moore. Is that 50 something? No, yeah, I think he exceeded 60. Um, in any case. You might have a world record. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Addison, you, for game four, you get to choose the level. What do you choose? Let's do 18. Okay, Addison chooses 18. So, uh, here we go into game four of our Vancouver, Vancouver final. Three, two, two one, one, Tetris. Tetris. So Nescar went two in a row. Yes, he is. After Addison won the first game. And, you know, it, so, some great Tetris was played by Addison in the last game. As we said, he may have a CTWC record of surviving the longest drought ever. However, the reality is that Nescar dominated that game. He was mm -hmm. ahead by a huge margin the entire game. Showed a lot of poise. Didn't let the huge lead change his game. He kept playing aggressively, scoring Tetrises. So it was really a masterful performance by Nescard. Um, and right again, right off the bat again, Nescard's playing really clean. 88% Tetris rate. Um, Interestingly, we see Addison is ready with a left side Tetris well, and boom, Tetris for Addison. And that left side well is not ideal. However, it does kind of work out that way sometimes where you end up employing that strategy and it works out. So, and as you can see, he shifted the well right back over to the right and boom, Tetris for Addison to take the lead. We got, we got Michael in a bit of a sticky situation here. And Nescard is nothing he can't handle with the hyper tapping and his experience, but it's definitely a mess at this point that's going to detract from a score while, boom, on the other side, Addison is still Tetrising with a 64% Tetris rate, while Nescard's dealing with a 27 piece drought. So the fortunes have shifted here for the moment. Yeah, now he's going to try and set the record. <laughs> <laughs> nope, he's happy not to have to. <laughs> and yes, the drought is over. I don't know if that's a record you want to have. I'll take any record I can get, personally. <laughs> okay, and Nescard is Tetris ready. Nice burn there. And gets the long bar. Boom. Tetris for Nescard. And with that burn, Addison's ready. And boom, Tetris for Addison. To help maintain that 40,000 point lead. But Nescard fires back to cut it to 20. This is the type of Tetris we want to see. Players firing back and forth. Mm -hmm. And, oh, oh, early, early on that tuck, but that's okay. Smart horizontal burn there. Yeah, the, the horizontal long bar burn is one of my favorite plays in yeah. Tetris. It's always... Well, it's, if you don't do it, you just get this spike. 
Yeah, it's always a safe move. It avoids you getting a tall spire, which you don't want. And conservative burn by Nest card to burn the triple. He loses a Tetris, but it's the, it was the right play. Yeah, this Burns is, a double right there. This is tournament play, not playing at home. Yeah, he's, he's making some nice conservative plays. And he's getting a little bit of a drought. Boom Tetris for Addison. Probably long bar for Nest card. Ooh. Oh, whew. opportunity to get dirty. Tetris for Nest card after getting a little too close for comfort there uh, as far as how high he was. Uh, but now back to a really clean board. He's Tetris ready. Addison is... He just needs something flat. And another Tetris for Nest card. He's up by 30,000. And and we know we have a pro when we see him gla someone glancing at the other guy's screen. That's That's a pro move. I still haven't mastered that. If I look at the other person's screen, I just, just immediately over die. For you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's a strong start for Addison, but Nescard has stayed the course and has now taken a 40,000 point lead with another Tetris bringing it to 66,000. Now Addison is Tetris ready. And boom, Tetris for Addison. Both players nice. playing strong, consistent Tetris. Nice and clean. Addison Tetris ready again. Nescard Tetris ready. Nescard Tetris ready. We got a drought coming in. Boom, Tetris for Addison. Cuts the lead to 20,000, but Nescard fires right back. Building it back up to 46,000. And triple for Addison. He's ready to just, get Tetris ready. He's going to play dirty here. Sometimes it's best if, just if to you ignore just have, the one. If you just have one row, inexplicably Addison passed up a Tetris there. Maybe he lost Das. And it is a 20,000 point lead for Nest Card. With, we're only about 20 lines from the transition, so both players have to start thinking about cleaning up here. Yeah, Addison in some trouble. Uh, he gets it down, he gets it down to a manageable level. And however, Nest Card is got the sort of super clean board. And a little bit of an S and Z blast there for Addison. That was untimely. Um, but then it, it got him a better piece sequence. And um, we're four lines, four lines from the transition with Nest Card transitioning with a Tetris, going out to a 60,000 point lead. And now. Two pieces in a row there where Addison didn't use, but he waited for the right piece. So oh! Cleaned it up. And Addison could not get the long bar over, and that is going to do it. Nest card <laughs> is the winner. Our champion winning the travel stipend to Portland, Oregon. Nest Cardinality, Nest Cardinality, famous as a Dragon Warrior player and as a speedrunner of other games, shows that he's more than just a speedrunner. He is a Tetris champion of Vancouver now. Congratulations. Another round of, round of applause. And, and let's give one more round of applause for Addison, a runner-up. He was fantastic. Guys, if uh, you want to come over and be interviewed real briefly, uh, first, well, do you interview Addison first? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a word with Addison. Can I move over a little bit, Adam? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, squeeze in here, Addison. Yeah. So we're talking into these bikes. All right. So how did that go for you today? Was it, was it scary to be in a Tetris final? Did it make you nervous? Uh, I picked up a little bit in the after the first game, I think. I was pretty relaxed before that. And what's your favorite version of Tetris? What have you trained on? Uh, I like, I play Puyo Puyo Tetris. That's oh, called, okay, like excellent. The, I guess guideline modern Tetris. Gotcha. And so how did how does this how is this different from your experience with Puyo Puyo? Completely different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I played this before a long time ago, but I didn't really pick it up. 
after a bit. So I was a little familiar with the mechanics. Okay, okay. Um, you played really well. It was fantastic. It was really good. Um, and I found that you knew you were going up against someone who's been practicing Nintendo mm-hmm. Tetris. Was it, you know, how did you feel that you performed considering how strong an opponent you faced? Uh, I did much better than I thought I would. I'm normally not this consistent. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, often I top out in the middle of 18. <laughs> right, right. So. Well, I was really impressed. You really fought and you got in some sticky, tough situations and you survived. And yeah, so, that uh, crowd I didn't even realize I had. You're gonna, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna have to watch that on the yeah. stream because that's epic. If you that survived a 66 brutal. piece drought in competition, you truly are a world, possibly a record holder. So congrats. Yeah, thank you. Good job today. <laughs> Great job. There was a bunch of spins that you were like, you knew what to do. I knew, uh, you knew what to I do, know. but you just practiced in those. You gotta practice, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm good at it in the guideline. I can That's just right. drop it and rotate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks again, Addison. Got Guys, that was our runner up in Vancouver, Addison. Now let's talk to the one and only, come on up, Ness Cardinality. Congratulations, Thank sir. Thank you so much. You did it. Yeah. You're the Vancouver champion. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, well, you're coming to Portland. You got your passport. I do have my passport. Oh, All right, <laughs> so he's ready. And are you, where are you from? Uh, I'm living in Calgary right now. I actually flew over just for the day for this. Um, oh, excellent. Okay. So you are the Vancouver champion. How does it feel? Is this your first Tetris, competitive Tetris event? It's sort of my second. There was one that, it wasn't a CWTC tournament, but it was in another province and it was sort of similar to this. Um, these tournaments are really teaching me something about how I need to uh, focus on consistency rather than just like every time I had some sort of hole in my board I got really nervous and flustered and right. lost a couple games there and uh, I, I really need to put in some work to work on that consistency. It's like, what do you do? Do you leave it down there and keep playing on top of it or do you clean it down? You know? Yeah. It's like I, a tough decision in tournament play. As uh, playing at home, all I was doing was just, you know, if something went wrong in 18, I would just, you know, discard it and restart, and I've got to stop doing that entirely for Portland. Uh, I got my first two max outs uh, just this past month, actually. Congrats. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to be able to do that consistently. So this, this tournament taught me a lot. I, I never felt like this playing Tetris before. It was awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really, well, you have... That you died really early on a few occasions. Yeah. I think at least two games where you stopped out early. Yeah. And did that, do you feel like that kind of steeled your resolve or did it rattle you? It was really weird. I, uh, I, it was just a couple of little holes and I didn't handle them well. And I was playing on a slower speed. That didn't help. It, it might have actually hurt. I don't know. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. You were choosing 15, was that? A couple times early. Well, I noticed some of the competitors weren't really ready for level 18, and I thought, you know, we'd, we'd make a show of it and all that. Oh, man. True sportsman here. Yeah. But, uh, but when, I, when I went down the first game in level 15, I had to, had to go back to 18 for sure. That's right. Well, you have to play to your strengths, and if you have the hyper-tapping, you have a built-in advantage on level 18, which is that you can just play higher than, the, than your opponent. Yeah, and I've been doing a lot of that. I've been playing crazy high. Um, it is scary to go past halfway up the board in a tournament, mm-hmm. and that's just something I gotta get used to. I gotta, I gotta play every game like I'm pretending I'm in a tournament and just see how consistent I can get. And I'm looking forward to trying that. So, how does this compare to your other attempts to excel at other games? Is there anything that that from your other gaming experiences that prepared you for something like this? I have competed in a lot of tournaments like I've, I've been in this situation before where it's like you know a, like a provincial or Canadian championship and I pretty much just rely on my skill and focus on my strengths and uh, that's why this was such an interesting experience it was fascinating because I really was <laughs> rattled and I want to get that out of my game entirely but uh, but yeah I've done a few things like this before and it's a lot of fun that's that's why I'm willing to travel a whole province just to play Tetris. <laughs> wow. Well, we're, we're honored that you came that far to come play Tetris. And my final question, what goals do you have for Portland? And uh, what would, yeah, what would you, what goal do you question. set for yourself for Portland this year? You know, <laughs> people who don't know me who uh, watch this today are going to think this is silly and crazy and unrealistic. <laughs> but I watched the documentary that the CTWC made. And uh, after I watched it, I said, I'm going to go win the world championship. And that ultimately is my goal. And I know that I'm not ready quite yet, but I have another month to prepare. And for those who do know me, they know that uh, when I give something my all, there's no stopping me. So who knows? There are a lot of people there that have uh, great chances to win. You know, like, like you can't count a lot of people out. So it'll be very, very interesting. I just hope to be right there in the fight for it. 
Excellent. I like I like that. I like that That's answer. a good attitude. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Do you have any other questions, Vince? Uh, no. All good. right. Congratulations. Good Thank job. So and we'll see you in October. Thank, Thank you. you. And yeah, we'll see him in October at the <laughs> Portland Retro Gaming Expo. That's uh, October 18th, 19th, and 20th. 18th is side games. We do have uh, some fun tournaments on Friday. Saturday morning qualifying yeah, starts. By, and the yeah. bracket is on Sunday. Of which so Nest Cardinality right? will be a part. Uh, in the meantime, you guys look forward to CTWC Australia streaming later today. Next week, we have Classic Tetris European Championship. Look for all these matches on our YouTube channel, Classic Tetris. And uh, we're going to sign out. And thanks again, everyone.